Hello, and welcome to another day of English 2. I'm your online teacher, Miss Bear. Yesterday, you guys read an article. We're going to do a little bit more with that article today. But as a reminder, we are working on a National Writing Project Argument Unit, and this is on the topic of lab-grown meat. And so I've told you about National Writing Project uh, for the last couple of days. I'm not going to dig too much more into that, but if your teacher wants additional information on how he or she can learn more about the work of National Writing Project, they can go to nwp.org and find a site, and that uh, find a site link will take you to uh, the map that you see on your screen, and your teacher can get more information from one of the local partners. And I will say, in the state of Mississippi, um, we have two active writing projects. One is at Ole Miss, and the other is at Southern Miss. So you've got the southern, I mean, the, sorry, the, the top part of our state and the bottom part of our state. Mississippi State has a, a project. They're not as active as um, Ole Miss and Southern, but we are hoping that other um, projects will um, reactivate, especially the one at Mississippi State, because I know um, their work was uh, really good. And so that's actually the site that I came out of was at Mississippi State. So hopefully your teacher will um, get a little bit more information about National Writing Project and look at being a National Writing Project teacher leader. All right. Now, as promised, let's dig into this um, Designing Tomorrow's Burger. I hope that you and the rest of your classmates learned a lot more and that you are ready to add to your writing. So just like we did in those other two articles that we read, you are going to think about your perspective. And you may, when you pull out that piece of paper or you pull out a notebook, wherever you're keeping up with the information that you're writing, I encourage you, before you start layering your writing with this article, before you keep, start writing again, if you will read back over what you, read, what you wrote for your quick write and for that first and second article, that way, as you're writing today, you can see how you're thinking about the, uh, about the topic of lab-grown meat how your thinking is changing during this time. So I'm going to put this uh, layering your writing sentence stems. I'm going to put this on the board so um, as a full screen so that your teacher can pause and give you time to write. But at this point, you shouldn't need 20 minutes to write about this article. You should need about five or 10 minutes at the most. So I'm going to let you write and then we'll come back together because there's something else I want us to do with this article. So let's get writing. This article or a particular quote makes you question or wonder. Same stem that you used before. After reading, I'm now thinking, so maybe your, your thinking has changed. Or just as I was thinking earlier, the information in this article confirmed what your belief was before. So let's get to writing. All right, great job with layering your writing. Today, we're going to learn something else. All right, this looks really jumbled up and it looks like some crazy stuff. I want you to hear what I need to say and then we'll get to this. I want you to think about the topic of lab-grown meat. Before you got into this information, did you know anything about the topic of lab-grown meat? Maybe you had a little bit of information, maybe you didn't have any information. But if there were scientists sitting at a table discussing lab-grown meat, would you feel comfortable sitting down at that table and having a well-informed discussion with those scientists, whether they're food scientists or um, whatever, nutritionists even, or scientists. So would you have felt comfortable engaging in a conversation with them before you read any of these articles? Personally, I would not have. I would not have felt comfortable engaging in a conversation because if all I had to say is, oh, that sounds gross, um, then I look dumb. 
And y'all, I don't want to look dumb. I don't know about you, but I don't know that any of us want to look dumb. We want to look smart, and especially when we are around smart people. And that's exactly what this article does and the articles that you're reading. This particular article took information from so many different sources, so many different people are sitting down at the table discussing this topic of designing tomorrow's burger. So what I want you to do, and it doesn't have to be as fancy as this graphic, I want you to write on a piece of paper the title of the article. And that's what I have as um, my, my title or what is on the table. What are we discussing? So they are discussing in this article, Designing Tomorrow's Burger. That's the title of the article. So you can put that on the top of your piece of paper, or you can draw something elaborate like this if you want. Each person in this article has something to say about designing tomorrow's burger. For instance, Patrick O'Brown from Impossible Foods talks pretty quickly in the article about um, kind of what he is doing and what his company is doing with um, the idea of tomorrow's burger. But I don't want you just to put a quote from him. What is he saying exactly? So at, you've already read the entire article. He speaks multiple times. So what is he saying? If he only has one quote, then put that one quote. But that's probably not true. For most of these people that are sitting at this table, they have multiple things to say. But if you put all of those pieces together, culminating, summarize what it is that they're saying about the topic. I want you to, with um, either independently or with a partner, that is completely up to your teacher, I want you to list every single speaker in this article and identify what is it that they're saying. So you may be summarizing that information, you may be providing a quote from that person, but it should look something like what you see on the board as far as how many people. So I've got the Environmental Sciences and Technology Study, I've got Susan Millis, I have Patrick Brown, I have these scientists at this University of the Netherlands, um, Good Food Institute, Texas A&M, do you see the American Heart Association, all of these people or organizations are sharing information with Susan Millis, who is your author of this story or of this particular article. So now I want you to be thinking about and writing down everything that is said about the topic from these different people. That is what you're going to be doing for the rest of today. Again, you've layered your writing, you've got your thoughts down. Now, what are other people in this article saying about your topic? So that is all that I have for today because that's a lot. That is a lot for you to go back through and write down. But whatever way is easiest for you, write that information down and I promise you are gonna be so happy that you did because the information is going to present itself in a way that you didn't think about before. So until tomorrow, happy reading and happy writing.